right. Okay, my name is Mary Galbraith. I teach primarily children's literature, uh, but also a 19th century novel, which I'm also in the middle of, which, which is why I should have been here for the first one. Uh, and um, my focus is the representation of childhood experience, uh, which is why 19th century novels are really good for the representation of childhood experience. But since I've been teaching primarily children's literature, I have been focusing on picture books. And so I have done a lot of work on the representation of the child's perspective in the picture books. Uh, and of course, we're talking about adult artists, so it's kind of an interesting and complex situation. Uh, so I've also lately uh, gotten interested in graphic memoir, which is a new genre um, using the comic strip format, non-fictionally, or at least in name, uh, to give memories, and typically of childhood experiences of one's own parents. Uh, and what's really interesting about this um, genre is it often represents the parents before the child is born. So we get kind of an intergenerational representation of history through the eyes of the child. And it's obviously not all from the person's memory. Um, uh, my favorite picture book artist is, oh, oh have I put on, uh, um, is Raymond Briggs who is a, still with us in 1934 to the present. And he creates both picture books and graphic narrative, so that, and a, a graphic memoir. So that makes him an interesting topic for me to look at in this regard, uh, especially having to do with the difference, perhaps, between some of his picture books and his graphic memoir. Uh, these are what I'll call his frontal covers. Uh, all of them represent a very close uh, sort of front-on uh, image of a parent figure. If, you know them well, you know, they're all parent figures. And they're all quite easily discernible as being of his father, who was a milkman. And there's kind of a joke, you know, because snowman, milkman, Father Christmas delivers presents at night. And, you know, so there's all, they're all kind of visual puns on his father. Uh, his couple's covers give a much more distanced view of his parents. And uh, you can see that he isn't even part of this one, which is, by the way, a picture book about World War III. And uh, there he is in the background looking through the window of another one as an adult. So it's almost like he doesn't exist in the ones for about uh, the couples. Um, so his best known work is The Snowman, a wordless picture book about a boy's fantasy relationship with the snowman, which I say is quite arguably his father. And he was separated from his father in many ways, partly because his father worked at night, you know, being a milkman, but also he was evacuated uh, during the Blitz uh, to the countryside. and. Um, I'm going to kind of skip forward. Um, he, uh, even, even in the graphic memoir, when they're visiting him in the countryside, you see the couple being a couple, and you see him very sadly on, his four, all, on all fours in the foreground. So even uh, you know, when they're visiting him, he's not seeing his father up close and like those covers, right? What a difference between the fantasy picture of his father and the picture books. Um, so Raymond Briggs um, has said that the proper illustrator illustrates from inside the figure. And when you think of the you know, natural epistemological attitude, to give it its long name, uh, you know, we don't see ourselves as children, well, at least before the age of all the selfies. Uh, we see you know, our visual field is mainly dominated by parent faces, so you would expect from a memoir to see lots of parent faces. And so it's interesting that the parent face dominates his fantasy picture books. And yet the memoir is very distanced from, from his parents. I'm finished.